This is Barry Zalma speaking for Claim School Incorporated about the July 1, 2022 issue of Zalma's Insurance Fraud Letter, which is available at the links on the post that comes with this video. In this issue, you will be able to read the full text of articles including Rescission, the Equitable Remedy. Rescission was an equitable remedy first created in the ecclesiastical courts of Elizabethan England. When the United States was conceived in 1776, the founders were concerned with protecting their rights under British common law. Common law is a form of law developed by judges through tribunals and decisions of courts rather than executive branch action or legislative statutes. Following the common law tradition, legal principles were referred to courts of equity to mitigate the rigor of common law. The new United States of America adopted British common law as the law once the U.S. Constitution was adopted in 1789. British common law was only modified by the limitations placed on the central government by the Constitution. The viability and ability to enforce contracts was recognized as essential to commerce. Courts of law following the British common law were charged with enforcing legitimate contracts and rendering money judgments against the party who breached the contract. You can read the full article, uh, which will explain the bases necessary to effectively rescind a policy of insurance. Then there's the article about another Florida insurance company going broke. Southern Fidelity Insurance Company entered receivership and is being liquidated according to the Florida Office of Insurance Regulation because insurance fraud seems to be rampant in Florida. And that's why Florida is also creating new statutes to help defeat insurance fraud. Then there's the article about a lawyer who admitted to insurance fraud and theft from his clients, was convicted of fraud and theft, and was then set up for disbarment, which for some reason was not instantaneous. Then there's the article about chutzpah, that's Yiddish for unmitigated gall, an article about murder for insurance money that allowed and required a life sentence to be affirmed by an appellate court. When convicted of murder in the first degree and conspiracy to commit murder for life insurance money, the defendants require a great deal of chutzpah to file multiple appeals to reduce the or eliminate the life without parole sentences. In the latest effort, The People versus Lenny Peterson Galfate, the California Court of Appeals on June 9, 2022, wrote a detailed opinion discussing all of the arguments filed by the murderer, expending more time and paper than a convicted murderer had already appealed unsuccessfully to different courts that was not deserved. The full article will explain why. And then there are, of course, the articles with good news from the Coalition Against Insurance Fraud setting forth multiple convictions for insurance fraud. Then there's the article on health insurance fraud convictions, where multiple dozens of convictions are reported, including that Molina Healthcare agreed to pay over four and a half million dollars to resolve False Claims Act violations. Molina, in its previously owned subsidiary Pathways of Massachusetts, agreed to pay $4.625 million to resolve allegations that it violated the False Claims Act. 
by submitting reimbursement claims while violating several regulations related to the licensure and supervision of staff. Molina, a managed care health services company that provides health care plans to various state and federal health care programs, including MassHealth, the joint federal and state Medicaid program. Between November 2015 and March 2018, Molina owned and operated Pathways, a group of mental health centers located in Springfield and Worcester, Massachusetts. During that period, the government contended that Molina and Pathways improperly submitted claims for reimbursement to Mass Health and care entities managed by Mass Health while failing to properly license and supervise mental health center staff, including social workers and psychological associates, and failing to provide and timely document the provision of adequate ethical supervision to clinicians requiring supervision. And there's an article on excellence in claims handling. The special series of videos for locals.com that will only be provided to those who subscribe to my locals.com community and which will allow for videos on important insurance law and insurance claims issues on a daily basis for only five dollars a month or fifty dollars a year then there's the article of other insurance fraud convictions where convictions other than health insurance are reported including how an ex surrey uk banker faked cancer as part of a 1.8 million pound fraud Rajesh Gerdia, 42, said he would be dead in a year in a 1.2 million pound insurance scam. The Southwark Crown Court heard and he swindled also seven people, including a relative, out of huge sums of money by encouraging them to invest in non-existent financial programs. And he's going to jail. This video was created by me and Claim School Incorporated to explain to you the use of Zalma's insurance fraud letter and to encourage you to read the full newsletter. Thank you for your attention.